What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dive Fishing and I'm headed down to Lake Murray, South Carolina for the Pan American Kayak Fishing Championship. Representing Team Puerto Rico, super pumped and excited. This is the first leg of my 13 day trip. I got about eight hours left on this drive and what I'm really thinking about on the way down there is the fact that we might be getting hit with this hurricane, Hurricane Helene, it's making its way up the Gulf of Mexico and it looks like it's gonna clip uh, some of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. So hopefully it doesn't have to, we don't have to cancel any of the tournament or practice. Worst case scenario, maybe they just cancel practice, but we'll see. Obviously top priority is safety, safety for everyone involved. You know, but we also want to go out there and catch fish. And a lot of guys came from really far away to get the job done. So just praying that the hurricane doesn't affect things too much. Either way, we're going to catch some fish and we're going to make some good content on the way down there. Probably share some shenanigans just so I can stay sane out here for these next eight hours. But first, that joke of the day, what kind of cars do sheep drive? Lamborghinis. focus on bait fish they got blue herring in that lake so i'd be throwing spooks top water baits flukes we focus on the main lake points dude and you should find some big large mouth spotted bass gearing up i'll try to get that striped bass eat that sucker i'd bring that in on a stringer be like <laughs> how's this lake as they disqualify me best road trip snack ever peanut butter muddy buddies Prove me wrong. And let me know in the comments, what's your favorite road trip snack? First stop of the trip, had to fuel up somewhere in the middle of Virginia. Been driving for about five and a half hours, five hours maybe. So I got four hours left uh, before we reach the destination. Yeah. So I was talking to my boy, Jake, AKA Poppy Juice, and uh, he's got a really good point, man. Because anyone that did pre-fishing for this tournament, they're pretty much SOL. Like any pre-fishing that was done for this lake is kind of, out the window because things are going to change completely from thursday storm is on friday and then tournament is saturday sunday we're all going to be fishing blind we're going to be practicing and fishing the tournament at the same time also you'll notice i got my lead time hat on so shout out to lead time they are my diamond sponsor for this trip and the next trip so i'm gonna show you guys my lead time setup uh, when i do my kayak overview for the tournament So typically this is one of my favorite parts of driving 81, which is the Shenandoah Valley and being able to see that incredible view. However, as you can see, we ain't seeing nothing but fog. So I'm just a couple minutes away from the house and meet the guys from PR. Uh, say what's up. We're gonna get some pizza later on or some food or whatever But we're gonna have a good time and uh, prepare for tomorrow So hopefully it's not too too windy tomorrow with the storm coming in We're supposed to get a ton of rain two to seven inches of rain within a 24-hour period Which is gonna be nuts about to roll up just a couple minutes away My butt hurts. I'm ready to get out of this truck made it to Lake Murray it's 6 a.m., almost 7 actually. Yo, look how big this is, bruh. So the story right now is that it's gonna get crappy later. Later this evening, it's supposed to be like 70 mile an hour wind gusts thanks to Hurricane Helene. Um, so likely tomorrow, like I thought, practice will get canceled. I stayed with the guys from PR last night with uh, Halbert and Julio and Jeffrey and, and their wives and it was an awesome time, man. So uh, got a solid, solid four hours of sleep. So I am ready. All right, so about to launch, got the whole setup ready. Kayak is ready to go. PDL, bro, it's been a minute since I got in this thing, but yo, check it out. I got my lead time, 12 volt. 50 amp hour smart battery super pumped to try that puppy out got it already connected to the bluetooth so i can monitor it and then sure enough back here in the black pack i got the 24 volt 50 amp hour smart battery for the new port the nk 180 pro is looking clean man looking nice i've taken this out twice already and it's been such a great motor uh, so i'm really excited to give it like a real test trial if you will uh, got my rod set up, 
the rest of the setup is pretty much money got the kayak cushion uh on the back and on the butt so it'll be nice and comfy throttle for the new port on the right hand side uh fish finder instead of putting it on here i put it on the rails i was gonna take the live scope out today but honestly guys it's raining and i don't know how long we're gonna be out there i don't feel like messing around with the extra setup but and of course got the net so i'm all set up man it's gonna rain it's gonna be a wet one but thankfully the fish are already wet i don't think they mind too much so i'm gonna try to get out there get my rain gear on and uh try to get, get some fish all right so we're still out here in uh practice and most of the team already left because they had to clear out their airbnb however i stayed with the with the guys that came from PR and they're still out here. The problem is, I don't know where they're at. I'm really not trying to meander all the way over there, which is really where I want to go uh, by myself. Because it's, it's getting a little bit crazy. Yeah, baby! Holla at your boy! Woo! It's a little dude, little dude, but nevertheless, first striper on the kayak. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get another one, baby. Let's get another one. You see all that feeding going on. There's a feeding frenzy going on over here, bro. Right ahead of me. I'm headed right towards it. Yo, look at this feeding activity right here, bro. Alright, got another one. Oh, he's a small one. Another one, baby. Let's see if we can get him to take off real quick while the other ones are still feeding. Here we go. Got another one. Got another one, baby. Got another one. Still small, but a little bit bigger. Another one, you're on the top water. That one, got another one, yeah! Me, me, whoa, acrobatics! Mira los stripers están aquí! Los stripers! Oh wow, that's a big bass. No! Whoa! Damn, bro, I thought that was a striper! Uh, dude, that makes me sick. That makes me so sick. Dog, I just I just totally took for granted that that was definitely not a striper. Just trying to get these guys on some stripes. That makes me so sick. Oh. So I made a rookie mistake. I got too excited, but I landed three strike bass. Awesome. Uh, I was, I was, they were hitting on top. I saw the bait fish, so I just, I just threw it in some top water and I landed all of them like that. I lost one. I was trying to yell over to the guys to come fish this spot over here. But then as I was calling, I hooked into one and I assumed it was another small striped bass. So I just kind of let it run. And I was yelling to the guys, come, the stripers are here. And as I reel it in, I realized it's a big largie. And by that time, I went to go even like grab the net. He flipped right off at the boat. But he was a nice large now, probably like a five pounder. So kind of bummed about that. That was a rookie mistake. I should have treated it like every fish where you just focus on reeling it in. Either way, still pumped that I hit three stripers. The weather has been doo-doo. It has been really bad. Finally got to the hotel, checked in, dried up, showered. Bro, I was soaking. I pour like a quart of uh, of water out of my boots and it's not because water got in through the boots, it's because it got in, my pants were so soaked that it drained down into my boots. Look how nasty it's still outside. Anyways, looking good, nice and clean, 
hat on, jersey on. Now we're going to uh, go officially check in and go meet with the guys and introduce you to them. Chris, you already know. Urban Fishing TV. Uh, we got Syed. Tom is fishing. Bro. Carlos. Body anger. Yara. Yeah, fishing with Yara. Hey, look who we got over here. G. What's up? Come on, bro. What's up? Say what's up. Hey, what's up, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> you might not know him. Uh, Louder. Que pasa? Que pasa? We got all teams. We got USA. Oh, so they just got Canada. Oh, somebody has some adobo so we can leave. The teams are stacked, man. Man, what's up, Bobby? Yo. Catch board. <laughs> For everybody, look at this content creator over here. Look at this camera. <laughs> Such an influencer. So demure. So demure. Bueno, lo, los teams van a ser Herbert, Carlos y Jay. En un team. Yara, Jeffrey, Isael, en otro. Let's go. Julio, Chris. <laughs> Y Guillermo en el otro. Ok. Bueno, para que sepa, adelante, para que you guys. Preference. Shut up, barbecue, southern, southern food. Con la casa lo calle hay. Mac and cheese. Y Hofford. Y ni lo voy a probar. La cafetera en el cuarto. La de Guillermo. Uh, es un espresso. Ah, man. Durísimo. I wanted to grab a strike. People on the water this weekend. So. O sea, estamos a su servicio. Let me do this in English now, I guess. Uh, we wish you guys all the best of luck and thank you guys for all having us here. This is the very first year that Puerto Rico has a kayak team. Woo! And we could not be more honored. Um, we could not be more honored. It's, 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 it's really a pleasure to be here with all of you. So many amazing anglers from all over the country. And uh, we really, each and every one of us are so honored to be included with all of you. This is the, the dream that we have wanted to complete for the first time in this... Uh, so we're up. This is what was supposed to be practice day. You can notice that it's a little bit dark because hotel lost power. So uh, that should make things a little bit interesting. But yeah, hopefully the power goes on, man, because uh, we got charged batteries. So, I mean, I'm, I'm good for if practice is today or if uh, we fish tomorrow. Don't really need uh, to charge anything, but maybe for Sunday, so. All right, so the power's out, but we out here. The boy Captain Hooks came through. We're gonna, you kind of see all the debris laying around from the storm so the wind seems to have died down a little bit still pretty gusty i can't imagine on the water it's going to be much better this is how wet some of my gear was from fishing yesterday this all came through my <laughs> my soft cooler been out here for about three hours already uh the weather seems like it's getting better you can still see it's a little bit uh it's a little breezy it's a pretty strong gust still coming up i got all my rods set up i had to re-spool a spinning rod tie on a couple new leaders make some changes up there um and that worked out nicely had to dry a lot of gear clean it up a little bit i'm not really one to like detail a kayak because it's gonna get dirty again but it's set up look at all those leaves in there just adds to the allure you guys might see i got my stickers on there got new bearded dad fishing uh decals on there got of course lead time on here lead times a diamond sponsor for this trip for the pan american and the knuckleheads got damascus media group as well who's a gold sponsor shout out to damascus i'm gonna link them down below along with the, all the other ones do me a favor and support the people who support me to get this done support our sport and support this arena and this industry so the masters media group is doing a lot of great things in the music industry uh, we also got cap and hooks of course is on their humble imprints uh, as a gold sponsor for both of these we got yak power as a gold sponsor you guys might have seen i recently released 
a new yak power install video where i installed the eight gang switch on this kayak so i'm gonna link that down below and as far as the silver sponsors go got valor insurance which i will link down below if you don't have insurance on your kayak or your fishing gear make sure you do that and they will help you get it done impulse rods as well and then we got newport vessel as well so shout out to newport i got my newport nk 180 on there which i got to use yesterday during the unofficial practice which was absolutely uh spectacular love this setup i can't wait to really break it in and use this motor more and i got speed pro allentown who actually made all these decals for me so i'm gonna link them down below if you need decals for your kayak if you want to decal up your trailer uh any of that stuff these guys will do it and last but not least father and son handyman out of the lehigh valley if you live close to eastern pa lehigh valley and you need something done in your house father and son handyman i'll put their phone number down below so i appreciate the sponsors man it's, it means a lot to me which is why i want to take the time to promote them and i will do so throughout this video the next videos and moving forward oh that's bright what's up y'all good morning it's game day day one of the pan am championships so we're in the parking lot power still out so loud generators in the background probably but we're ready got the kayak right here behind me my little headlamp which is illuminating my face uh kayak's ready yada's kayak is ready she's in her truck waiting for the rest of the team so they switched things up on us yesterday uh because this whole tournament the entire time was going to be a launch from one place from jerry's island everyone all 78 contestants were going to be launching from jerry's island well things change now because of the storm the county launches are all closed so now they have six launches to choose from and you could launch from any one of theirs the thing is that drastically changes the playing field because now a lot of the lake is accessible that was not accessible before we're gonna figure it out though i'm waiting for guillermo to show up because he's gonna make me some coffee because i'm hurting bro i haven't had coffee in like uh two days okay. huh? hey, squad's getting ready we are ready almost ready to go yeah, that's right man We've got the rest of the team drinking uh, coffee uh, final preparations before day one Borigua. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, te pedimos en esta hora, Señor amado, Señor, que vamos a salir de este lugar, Dios mío, hasta este torneo, Padre Celestial. What the hell? Dude! My leader just flew off, bro. baby on the jerk oh, okay I, i'm thinking striper buddy oh man but this is fucked oh this is fun i hope this stays on bro get the net ready oh striper yep striper 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 okay. Right. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, 14 and three quarters. Got him, baby. 14 and three quarter. He's not huge, but he's a striper. That's more than what a lot of guys are going to be able to say. That's for damn sure. Striper on the kayak. 14 and a half inches. See you later, bro. Woo! Yes! Gonna try again to see if we can catch us another a little bit of a bigger striper because that one wasn't very big but nevertheless this is the first time i could say i use live scope to catch a fish because i was able to see the bait ball and the stripers around the bait ball but they weren't busting the surface come on come on come on come on another one baby Yes, let's go. Let's go. You hear that drag? You hear that drag, bro? Oh, did I lose him? Bro, I lost him, unless he's running towards me. <sighs> Dang, I just lost that one. I wonder if it's because I threw it on the media. Maybe the drag wasn't set tight enough. Damn, bro. Whatever that was. 
was, that was good. And it was on the same jerk bait too. You know, so I've been on this choke point here uh, since I got here, probably like uh, like an hour and a half ago. So, bro, the balls, the balls of bait are here. Lost a ginormous, ginormous, what I assume to be a striper. You can hear that real screaming. Uh, I'm still marking tons of bait fish. Balls of bait, I'm seeing striper, I'm seeing everything um, on my live scope. So I'm gonna try to make my way back to the actual choke point. The wind caught me in a little bit, a couple hundred yards. So once I get there, I'm gonna see what it's looking like. If not, I'm gonna just turn back because the striper are most definitely here. The way they're tearing up this bait fish is wild. I haven't, I've just been trying to, get, uh, to upgrade my striper. Um, yeah. My, the only thing I said, up, I only got a 14 and a half striper. And there's the the, ball, the bait balls are still really active here at this choke point. Yeah, what do you think? Sheelys? Oh, I'm on. Oh. Yep, I'm on. Oh, yes. Yes, he's a big one. What is he? Oh, no. Gar, bro. Ah, jeez, Louise. All right, bro. Ah. I got a gar. Sorry guys. Didn't mean to curse. Got a huge gar. There you go. Oh, come on, please spit my jerk bait out, man. For the love of God, please. I just want the jerky jerk. A giant gar. Oh my goodness. Big fish, bro, big. Thought I had a huge fish. I had a freaking gar, massive gar. Uh, you know, so I mean, I did have a big fish for all intents and purposes. Thankfully, I was able to break it off and get the uh, get the jerk bait stuck in the net. Well, that's that. I got my jerk bait back. That's the important thing. Hooked the gar, which I never got before, so I guess I could add that to the list of things I've, I've caught. Pretty damn big. That thing had to be, I mean, as big as, I don't know how big Gar get, but that thing was probably like a good two feet, plus some change. I did not want to put him in here though. No, thank you, sir. You. Nope, nope. Yes! Woo! Yes! Got one, baby. Oh, he's decent too. Ah! Yes! Woo! Found decent bass, 14 and a half inches. Nice and chunky though. And uh, just need three more of these in the next two hours. So here we go. It's in Puerto Rico. Let's go, baby. Man, what a day it was. Uh, it started off, man, I lost first cast. I lost my bone whopper plopper, just flew off. Then I found the striper. At least I got one on the board, 15, uh, 14 and a half inches. Uh, lost a really big one, hooked the gar. And then just hammering docks, hammering docks with like no success until I found that one largemouth, also 14 and a half inches. So right now I'm sitting at 29 inches. It looks like a, a lot of people had a tough day. Uh, so I'm sitting 15 out of 78 currently. Overall, I'm proud. I'm proud of what, what we did today. We're gonna just readjust and go hammer them tomorrow. Back at the hotel. And as you can see, something's different. We have power. It's back, baby. And we got this handsome gentleman too. Yo, what's up, y'all? Yo, he took some fire pictures, so we're gonna put him up. <laughs> <laughs>
le quería dar le quería dar las gracias a todo el mundo ha sido un gran honor ser el capitán del equipo de Puerto Rico el primer el primer equipo de Puerto Rico el primer equipo de Puerto Rico este yo sé que mañana va a ser un va a ser un mejor día porque hoy aprendimos mucho digo este torneo fue especial no pudimos no pudimos la verdad es que no pudimos practicar como como fue no pudimos practicar hoy fue la práctica Mañana le vamos a dar una pela a las lobinas. Sí. Mm -hmm. sí. Y una pela a todo el mundo. Así que gracias a todos. Oh, gracias a todos. Thank you. Bro. Day two starts now. We're in the parking lot. Just finished rigging up. About to head out to the launch. As you can see, it's much more brightly lit, which is beautiful. We have power and we're about to head off now. Get ready. Switch up the game plan a little bit. I know, man. We're uh, currently in third place, so we definitely have a chance as a nation to to grab some medals. We have a chance to jump up, definitely to second. So we'll see. Gasael, rigging up. What's up, brother? You ready for today? We're ready, bro. We're gonna get it. You got the Old Town PDO. Yo, we out here, and so is half of the field. There was only 10 people maybe at this ramp yesterday, and somehow it turns to 35. Got my man G over there. Team captain, Puerto Rico. So we're ready. We're ready. Day two. Yeah, look how smooth this water is. It's total opposite versus yesterday. It's like glass. There's not even a breeze coming through. Bye, Jesse. I love you, buddy. I miss you, kid. I miss you guys so much. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. I love you guys. Have a great time. The kids make a difficult day on the water a lot better. Still struggling to catch fish. Still uh, out here. I moved to where I landed those stripers yesterday because I know that at least I'll see activity here. And sure enough, I do. I see stripers. Still, still working it, man. Got white jerk bait tied on oh there it is right there white jerk bait there's a yozuri 120 i think it is it's a yozuri oh 3db 110 oh one's one's looking at my lore one's looking at my lore got him just saw a striper well just saw a fish hit my jerk on the forward facing sonar and uh, he just nipped it tried to set the hook and nothing man but it was a pretty strong nip. I'm guessing it's gonna be a striper. But he just looked curious. He just came up to it and just like, I jerked it, he nipped it. I tried to set the hook, nothing. There we go. Oh, got one. Ooh. Oh no. Damn. I just lost one and he was a decent one. He was long. Dang. Kind of bummed about that. I just lost one. I'm hitting the shade and the grass here with a white fluke, weedless. And uh, I've been working this maybe for like 25 minutes. And man, he just hit it probably in like two feet of water. Super aggressive. He looked really long. Um, man, he looked long. He didn't look very thick, but he looked long, man. Honestly, be happy with like a 12 incher. Anything that I can measure to add on right now to the team would be super helpful. All right, guys, it's the end of day two. Today was hard. It was so hard. Probably the hardest day of fishing I've ever had. And uh, just couldn't figure it out, man. I st my plan was to go hit docks and grass early to try to get the, the largemouth out of the way. And uh, that just didn't work. Couldn't nail him. I'm a little frustrated, uh, to be honest. You know, I, I wanted to contribute to my team today and uh, wasn't able to do that. You know, so as far as what I could do, I did everything I could do. I have no regrets with that. My prayer is that the guys on the team that did land them, that'd be enough to keep us in the running for top three nations. And, uh, and get that honor for, for our island, man. All right, headed to the gala now. Check out this wicked tan. 
Does that yell fisherman or what? I gotta wear this with pride. El equipo. Yeah. Explotado. Yeah. Las mujeres. <laughs> with energy for everybody else. <laughs> That's right. Canada. <laughs> Cuba. <laughs> El Salvador. <laughs> Guatemala. <laughs> Honduras. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> Venezuela and the United States. Yeah! About wanting to captain his own team from another country and bailing on, uh, bailing on the United States. And it was a great conversation, and you guys just freaking railed it. Puerto Rico. Yeah! been blessed I've, I've gotten to compete in this event many times and I've had you know some incredible teammates uh, on the United States team but I gotta say it's 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 such an incredible honor uh, to get to represent uh, my my birthplace of Puerto Rico with these I mean incredible people if you haven't taken the time to, to talk to some of these people they're 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 unbelievable and I'm so incredibly proud of each and every one of them um, you know, this, the fishing out here on Lake Murray is, is, is amazing, but it's definitely very different than it is in Puerto Rico. And these guys got out of their comfort zone and they went out there and they caught some fish. So I'm, I'm super proud of them. And uh, I can't wait to do this again one day. Thank you guys so, so much for just being amazing teammates. So blessed. Mexico, let's go. United States. Okay, the, the final awards tonight uh, are the top placing teams with the bronze medal with a combined 223 and a half inches, Puerto Rico team one. So I didn't get to update you guys last night. Uh, I was quite busy and full of emotions and uh, it was wild. But as you can see, <laughs> Team Puerto Rico took the bronze home for nations. I am so proud, so honored. The experience itself was just absolutely wild. Not just like the fishing, getting together, meeting these guys that are passionate about fishing, about their country, about their people, and then getting up on stage last night and taking third uh, for Nations was just something else. It's hard to explain. It wasn't until I sat down that I really was able to soak it in and have some tears and, and everything, man. I just, I, I'm, I'm proud and I'm honored. And I think about my grandfather, I think about my brother, you know, um, my dad, and when we were younger and him showing me how to fish and everything else, man, it's just, it's nuts. So I'm just, I'm so happy. Uh, so, so, so happy this experience was something, something like this, man, once in a lifetime. You know, not to say I ain't gonna be back here and fishing it, but it's something about that first time, you know? So now I'm, I'm wrapping up, packing up, getting ready. We're moving to uh, Alabama's the next stop. I'm actually getting there today, getting ready for the knucklehead, which that's gonna be a different video. 
by the way. So stay tuned for that. We're going to try to take some hardware there as well back home. You know, but I do want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors that made this possible. Of course, we got Lead Time, the diamond sponsor for both of these trips. Thank you so much. Yak Power, Humble Imprints, Cap and Hooks, uh, Damascus Media Group. And all of them are going to be linked down below so that you guys can follow them, so you can support them. So it's super vital that you support uh, the companies that support this industry in its growth as well as Impulse Rods, Newport Vessels, Valor Insurance, Speed Pro Allentown, Father and Son Handyman. I thank you guys. Omnia helped us out a bunch. Yak Attack helped us out as well. These guys were coming from Puerto Rico with very few items for their setup because it's impossible to bring it. Uh, so Yak Attack came through and donated everything that our team needed to get out on the water safely organized and comfortable so thank you yak attack thank you to all the sponsors thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure you comment down below what your favorite part of this experience was and i, I hope to do this again man so we're gonna get back on the road and uh, headed to the knucklehead but i love you i appreciate y'all till next time peace and god bless